Hey everybody, welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today's a special video because we are gonna be doing a tour of the BMW Museum here in Munich, Germany. This is my first time experiencing the museum and if it's your first time too, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and look at some of the coolest cars in BMW's history. So here's our first exhibit. Looks like a Model T, but this is a BMW. It's got that BMW badge in the front. And this museum is gonna break down by the classics, which is gonna be the first part of this video. And then we'll get into the innovation concepts and some of the technology that BMW does. But for now, we're basically just gonna appreciate some of the old technology before we get into the new stuff. Classic drive shaft driven. BMW's done that for decades and decades. And over here's a big airplane motor, which is, I believe, where BMW got its roots from building big motors like this during war times. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you know what? It says right here, you guys can take a read of that. Military immediately ordered 600 units. And this is the fourth iteration of the engine, I guess. These motorcycles look like toys on display. You just want to pick one off. Oh, look, that's the i3 up there, full carbon fiber body. So light you can just hang it off the wall. This is the M6, one of BMW's pride and joys, I'm sure. And it looks like this skeletal frame right here is the BMW 328 from 1939. It looks like that, but without the shell, I guess you could probably pick it up with one person. It's pretty light of a car. And here it is with the shell. The 328 BMW. Looks like a Bond car. It looks like an, it lit, they use like aircraft hull material or something, right? It looks like a straight up aircraft. Now here's something you guys might enjoy. This is an entire wall of BMW Motorsport developed engines. So right here is the P84, and they also show you what car it came in. So this was the BMW FW27, uh, I think a form yeah, Formula One car. And the P84, that's a V10. And some of the technology you see on this thing is just crazy packed in there. I think it's a very small motor. It's only, you can see some of the CCs there. It's a V10, it's a three liter motor, and it was developed in 2005. So it's a really, really cool design. And the plenum is cool as well. You know, you really can't tell where the spark plugs are. I think that it has direct port injection though, cause there is like a, a fuel rail down here. So it, it, it's hard to say, there's so much technology. Look, I think that's a clutch pack right there. That is the smallest clutch pack I've ever seen behind a BMW motor crazy technology and that's just the first motor in a lineup of these things that they're going to show you this one right here 320i this is a p54 so it's like a modified m54 engine and some of you guys are probably going to drool over this you probably want to get your hands on that plenum but it's so cool to see some of the redesigns you know they're only doing like the most minimal water pump and alternator setup and trying to get as much power out of the motor as possible again a lightweight looks like a twin disc clutch on the back here long tube headers <laughs> some of you guys will recognize these these look like those volkswagen coil packs that a lot of people do upgrades to and then look at that weirdly enough instead of having the oil filter housing on the side of the block up there they actually rerouted it down here to an integrated cooler with an aftermarket oil filter right there so a little bit different than the design you're used to on the m54 but i'm guessing maybe this was due to service or just making the engine a lot easier to uh to you know rebuild now there's a ton of these motors so i'll just try to go over them briefly this is the p60 which is a modified version of the m60 came in the gtr 2005 model very similar small clutch pack very minimal accessories carbon fiber plenum for weight and the best possible air distribution and you know just the simplest accessory belt on the front engines immaculately clean i would love my engines to look like this at home then you've got the p75 right here this is probably an s65 upgrade so it is another v10 but yeah long tube headers 
Engine looks really cool. V12, my bad. This is the V12 motor. This one comes in at six liters. Individual throttle bodies you can see at the top right here. A lot of that S65 design, but I think the S65 should have a, a thermostat up here. So maybe it is a little bit different. Also, you can tell the belt, that is super cool. That belt is never gonna shred on you or leave you any problems. Very cool, very cool. Here's a fancy four cylinder with a huge, huge turbocharger right here and that exhaust i'm sure that exhaust sounds awesome with that open downpipe and the open wastegate and this was used in 1983 that's an awesome technology to have back in those years so we're actually getting older now so i'm not going to be able to recognize as many of these motors as i was hoping uh here we have a 1976 bmw m12 again this is a four cylinder but this one is naturally aspirated doesn't have any turbocharger on it i think that's going to be kind of the theme here is that all the rest of the motors are going to be naturally aspirated and they all have these really nice trumpets right here which are so beautiful and I'm sure they make some awesome noises too. Did you guys know that BMW made a boat motor? Because I did not. That is pretty cool. And this is where we get into the big boys, the airplane motors. These things are humongous. They've even cut them out so you can see all the turbines and the technology. This is a 1944 motor. And you know, it looks like it just came off the factory floor. We've got this big thing here. This is a 1944, probably for a military plane. Maybe you guys might be able to pronounce that or recognize it better than I can. But uh, yeah, there's a whole ton of stuff going on in this motor right now. And same with that 1926 BMW 6 motor as well. All right, the predecessor to the 3 Series. And then all along this row, you've got the E21. What is this one? E21, I think, E30. E30 Touring, that's a nice one. Then you've got pre-facelift E36. And then the Dakar yellow is going to be your facelift E36, so 1996 and forward. You can tell by the grills there. The grills are a little bit more pushed in on the pre-facelift, and they're a little bit bigger on the facelift car. And then, of course, you've got the E46 over there, and then finally the E90. They're missing a few 3 Series generations, but I think we're going to see those later in the video. And you know what? This one right here is a hatchback. That's pretty cool. Dakar yellow hatchback. Here's a quick look at the Motorrad division. Looks like you have some iconic BMW motorcycles here, including what looks like something that may have been in the Perry Dakar rally. That is really cool to see there. Looks like this thing was abused and then put on display. So these are some really cool homages, some really cool BMW history pieces here. It looks like this one probably set a land speed record. Look at how low that one is. And then this one as well looks like a little Aluminum egg right here. Looks like you de you could definitely hit some top speeds on this thing. Now here are some really cool cars I cannot wait to get up close and personal with. It looks like we have that one of one E46 M3 Touring. We have the, what is it, V10, V12 powered X5 M track car that was used for development. And this is probably a good little joke from the BMW engineers. That's an E30 truck. And all these are original BMW builds right out of the factory. So I'm sure that they were held to the highest standards of quality and building. So I cannot wait to go look at them up close. Now here you have some of the coolest one-off builds from BMW and we even missed some from before so let's go through one by one. This one we're going to start with the Z3. This is a V12 packed Z3, the 750i motor. So not any performance version but still an incredible feat of engineering to make that V12 motor fit inside of a Z3 and make it drive. I'm sure it's crazy. This one is even crazier though. This is the X5 Le Mans edition. This has a V12 tuned to about 700 horsepower. It's a one of one built car. I think they used it for engine development and testing and you'll see inside the car's 
fully cage manual transmission with a bucket seat and absolutely nothing in the rear just to keep everything lightweight and then right here we have an e46 m3 touring again this is a one of one build factory motor but just amazing to see that color shine on that body with the wide arches and just an amazing car i'm sure a lot of you guys would want to build one of these over here is that e30 truck really cool build it has a four cylinder in there so no special power plant but uh some really cool engineering feet between the what is this like a soft top might even be removable and then the diamond plated truck bed which actually has a lot of room here it looks like it'd be pretty functional and then right here you have the BMW M8. This is also a super rare car. I think there's a very, very limited number of them packed with a V12. This is a racing inspired car with, you know, those subtle touches between like an eight series, such as the, uh, you know, the fender flares right here where you have the cutouts for air to go through and also the wide body arches, which are very distinguishable to the M8. Also, the hood makes it a beautiful piece, but overall, an amazing looking car. Just a piece of art right here on display at the museum. And then last but not least is this concoction. I don't know who decided to build this. This is a two-door E34 M5 convertible. It's got some awesome seats in there, like a fully custom interior. Don't ask me how they got the convertible top to fit in there, but an amazing build. And the color of it is also, I think an E34 M5 color. Let's see what it says. It does not say the color here. So maybe one of you guys can identify it for me. It's kind of like a darker gray. It has a little bit of a blue hue into it, but you see on camera, it looks super, super dark. So yeah, these are just some of the cars in this area, but we have a few more displays to check out. So let's go ahead and take a look. In this room are some really cool concept cars. You have a 328, which is the convertible top, and then a turquoise blue E9. And then finally, I thought this was an M1 at first, but this appears to be some BMW turbo concept. Some crazy looking car. Looks like a crazy cockpit. Lots of room inside but I'm not exactly familiar with this thing. Definitely worth reading up on though. Now here's a really, really cool M room full of just motorsport cars. You've got that beautiful, what is it? Henna Rot E30 M3. I think this is an E12 M5. No, this is the E12 M535i. So I don't think they even had an M5 back then. Then you've got the, then you've got an E28 M5, beautiful car as well. Lime Rock Edition M3, very cool. M Roadster right here. And then the creme de la creme, the BMW M1 in both the streetcar version and the race car version. This thing can be seen spitting flames in some of the old school racing videos. And this is definitely a collector car that I think everyone wants to get their hands on right here. But look at that. You guys see that? That car has some, some swirl marks in it. This car needs to get detailed. <laughs> So that's our BMW Museum tour and I hope you guys enjoyed watching and following along with me. If I made any poor commentary on the cars, I apologize in advance. Be sure to correct me down in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you love BMWs just as much as I do. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a couple extra clips from the BMW Velt. It's kind of like their experience delivery center where they'll deliver your car and show you some of the newest models. So I'll throw some of those clips here in at the end. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Thank you.